Hey guys. So, um, little update. And I'm not sure where we're going from here. The tumor that they removed, the pathologist did testing and wasn't positive he was seeing what he was seeing, so he sent it to MD Anderson, NIH, and some other place um, for more testing to confirm that he found what he thought he found. They confirmed it, and it turned out to be, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly, biphenotypic sinonasal sarcoma. I, I think I butchered that, but it is an extremely rare cancer. Um, and my phone is shaking because I'm holding it with my hand because once again my tripod has walked off. This cancer was only discovered in 2012, so seven years ago. Um, my doctor presented it at a cancer conference and nobody knows how to treat it. Um, the recommendation is radiation, but because the area involves my brain and my right eye, he doesn't want to do radiation unless it's absolute, absolutely positively necessary. Um, so that's kind of up in the air right now until we figure all that out. I basically have to have scans every three months until two years have passed and then I have to have scans every six months for the rest of my life. Uh, they At first they thought you only needed scans for a couple of years and then people had, because it will come back, it's not the type that spreads throughout your body but it does come back. They call it a low-grade sarcoma. Um, the problem is it's so rare and nobody knows how to treat it. So what the other doctors at the cancer conference are doing is they basically all went home with homework and they're going to um, research it and to see if I can get away with not doing radiation because it, it was right up in here and they had to rebuild the dura uh, because basically I had a hole in my head by the time they got it all out and I had spinal fluid cranial spinal fluid leaking down so they had to build a flap and you know fix it it's a long recovery time and I'm I'm trying to behave myself but I'm kind of going nuts because it's already where are we at we're September mid-September my daughter's birthday is tomorrow hello um, so that is an issue and my thyroid and parathyroid levels are going up again my calcium and vitamin D are fine. But usually once those levels start going up, it means that there's probably another tumor. So if that's true, I may end up losing my thyroid and my parathyroids. And that would be it. Those are gone. Those are done. But we don't know yet. So I'm not going to cross that bridge till we get there. The problem is I had all these long-term plans and I have to decide whether or not to not give up on everything, I guess, would be um, one of the decisions. But I don't want to do that, but I may have to scale back. We do heritage breeds and we breed them in you know, critically endangered breeds that's our farm specializes in heritage critically endangered animals so I may have to just 
drop that program and just stay on like the homesteading area. Um, uh, there's some decisions that have to be made and I'm not quite sure where we're going with that. Um, not being able to work is not helping. Yeah, financially getting crunched here, mainly because we had two cars completely break down and my truck is still okay, but it needs over a thousand dollars worth of work. As long as I don't engage the four wheel drive, it should be all right for a little bit longer. Uh, and uh, the medical bills haven't even started coming in yet. So I don't even want to think about that because stress, you know, whoop, bring it down, calm, patient, one day at a time. Um, with this, back to the sarcoma, with this, I think there's only about 100 cases that have been documented. And um, two of those cases ended in death. Um, but mainly because one of them, I think it was, the person went in too late. I, I got... I guess God was watching or something because you don't normally don't feel the sarcoma until you start having issues breathing through your nose and you decide to go to a doctor. Um, from what I understand, one person kept putting it off, putting it off. He was in his 70s. And by the time he went in, it had gone already. It was already involved in the brain and it turned out it wasn't fixable and he ended up dying. Um, the other one was actually a younger woman in her 20s or 30s, and they ended her scans at, I think it was two years or three years, and it came back at the four-year mark, and by the time she got in to the doctor, it was too late. It also had gone in uh, intracranial, so... As long as the scans are done on a regular basis, it's a slow growing cancer, so they should be able to go in and get it um, if, if it comes back again. He said it could take, it could show up again next month, or it could take 10, 20 years for it to show up again, but it will come back because they always come back. So one day at a time. Um, decisions need to be made between that and thyroid issues. Somebody drove by. Merida doesn't like people driving by. Um, but, yeah, so far that's the update on me. Uh, it, it's, right now I'm not overly worried about anything. It, other than I need to figure out what I'm doing as far as our own farm programs and kind of, you know, when you, you hear the, the big C word, even though it's not a really bad one, it's still cancer. Um, so it kind of, kind of makes you rethink your priorities a little bit. And, um, we, anything could happen at this point we might sell and go down to a smaller property we might keep our property we might move to another state um it's a, a lot of a lot of decisions a lot of thinking but anyhow that's what's going on so far uh I'm, i am panicking because we're midway through september and i don't have Everything has been put on hold, and I have at least two more weeks where I cannot lift over 20 pounds. The first month, I couldn't lift over five. It was like, really? <laughs> I can't do anything? And my son was on top of me about... Uh, he took the whole month off of work, and he works retail. So, I mean, I'm very thankful he did that, but I'm also, I also feel bad because he lost a month of pay because of that. Um... But yeah, keep us in your prayers, and you guys have a great day, and we'll see where all this goes. Bye.